Out of the box, you'll find the dryer and hardware included. You'll also need a drill or screwdriver and a pencil. Before I install the dryer, I'll just show you what it'll look like on the back. So you have the two screws, one's longer, one is shorter. Take the shorter one, and that goes with this bracket here. And you can see it's sort of angled. So this part will be flush against the wall, and then this part sticks up. And how it works is flipping it around, it's going to fit in under here. Then on the other side, if you lift up right here, you'll see a hole where the longer screw goes in and attaches to the wall. So let's go ahead and install this. After marking the wall, we'll drill in the bracket. And if your wall is hollow or not made of wood, you can use the plastic anchors included. Then we'll line up the dryer with the knob on the left and slide it over the bracket. And then we'll screw in the other screw. Then on the opposite wall, we'll screw in the screw hooks. Once it's assembled, we'll pull out the lines. And attach it over the screw hooks. Turn the knob to keep lines taut. When not in use, the line automatically winds up for convenient storage. The lines stay clean and dry inside the plastic case, which wipes clean with a damp cloth. The five lines extend 13 feet, providing nearly 69 feet of drying space, making this dryer perfect for couples and families in small spaces. This dryer can be used indoors or outdoors and is great for basements, laundry rooms, bathrooms, porches, RVs, or garages. For more information, please